Let's do this. Oh. What's the same again? Okay. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to episode 42, 43, 43, 43, 42, 43? Nope. Okay, 40. Back down. 40. 40. Here we are, episode 42, 43, 44? Four, no, definitely not 44. 43. Let's, let's say 43. Sure. Provisionally, let's say 43. Yeah. If it's not episode 43, we can just cut it up into as many segments as we need to, uh, to get it to 43. I'm pretty sure this is episode 43. And if it actually is episode 43, we can cut it up into infinite segments so it loops around and comes back to 43. Hmm. I don't know what any of that means. But let's talk to Tracy. No. And it means you're a sensible person. Because no sensible person would understand that. Nope. What do you want me to do? I want you to get out of this room. I have to take care of something. Uh... Oh, we have a second page. I want my C pendant back. I've... I've completely forgotten what we're doing. We can't... We just got out of a dream world? Yeah. We defeated our own internal evil. Basically, I want the Franklin badge. You did some some work, because I think we lost last time. Uh, we, we died and, you did and some... we restarted, and then like a dumbass, I hit F4 because I assumed we had saved at some point along the way, but we hadn't. So this time, as far as this game is concerned, just now was the first time we turned this turned our SNES off since the beginning of the game. Mm. So hopefully our dad will get off our nuts about saving our game and going to bed. Crap. All the enemies Don't here. Don't touch that ghost. Yeah. All of our enemies here are really badass. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Well, I am. I watched uh, the first half of that movie earlier today. Nice. Oh wait, I just remembered. We have we, oh. we have the hot business in the form of Rufio. <laughs> uh he he does um Rufio's only the hot business on Sundays. <laughs> Down at the banana club. I think you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ugh. Man, I can't tell you how exciting these menus yeah, are. Yeah, let's fill out those menus. Ah. What's up, Mom? When we do this next time when we're done with Earthbound, let's let's choose a game with fewer menus. Let's choose a game with no menus. Menu-free gaming. Also, Rob Z just fixed a bazooka, which sounds pretty exciting. Can you think of any games that don't have menus? Did Journey have menus? I don't have a PS3, so I don't know. Huh. It must have had a menu at some point, like a start menu or something. Wait, what? Say again? It must have had a menu at some point, like start game, you know, press, press start to start game. I guess. Great. Have you seen the Have you seen the new uh, PS4 controller? Yeah, it looks pretty dope. It has a share button. Yeah. What the fuck does that do? It shares. You can use it to harass and annoy. Like 
it it sings to you? No, it does not C H E R. S H A R E S. Quick! Hit the share button! No, never do that. Sonny Bono rolls over in his grave. <laughs> Oh crap, I gotta equip that thing on Naomi. Oh crap, crap. Uh... I've been trying to think of Cher songs, but all I can think of are Jefferson Airplane songs. Isn't that song, uh, Life After Love by, uh, Cher? <laughs> I don't know. Do you believe in etc? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh. What? Uh. Well, I'll tell you this. I don't care about life after death, but I've got to get some proof that there's a life after birth. Were you butchered at birth? <laughs> uh. I can't remember the, the, any other Cannibal Corpse <laughs> albums, but... <laughs> but the answer is yes. Yeah, sure. Why not? We might we might also tell our audience that it's almost 1 o'clock in the morning, because we spent three hours trying to figure out what company I'm going to study for my thesis. That's right. Uh, Got a Texas... You're on notice. Texas, you need see me in my office. You need more product service systems. More things I can study locally. Yes. Burn them. Uh, oh. No, it's, re it's really my fault for not choosing a better topic. Can you, is it not possible to change your topic at present? Too late? Well, I, I could, but I will have lost almost an entire semester. Oh, shit. Um, of work. Yeah. Splash damage. Bust them. I mean, I, I could conceivably alter the project to remove the the uh, assertions I make about product service systems and their uh, connections with uh, the, the the culture being greater than with traditional product based. Uh, like manufacturing businesses. Hmm. And if, I mean, if I did that, the paper might be a little less interesting, but I could, it would be much easier to find a, a company to study. I see. Uh, I'm gonna blow these dudes up. How does that make you feel? Go for it. Uh. Do the same thing you've done for the past 42 episodes. Sounds good. Let's do it. Uh. Uh. Get it. Get it. Yeah! Burn him! Uh. Useless! No! Don't cast that! Oh my god, that does so much damage. Get him, for God's sake. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, these guys, huh? Yeah, these guys are some motherfuckers. Fortunately, as previously established, we have the hot business. Blap. Have the enemies always sort of, you know, lingered there in front of you for a while after the battle's over? Yeah, they blink for a second and then disappear. Cause they, oh well, I never noticed that before. Don't touch. Oh. It was unavoidable. They move super fast. Ugh! Don't touch the diamond. I'm gonna give him the berries this time. No more Mr. Nice. Mouth. Gross. 
<laughs> Giving them the berries sounds like a, is a pretty cool <laughs> phrase. I think I got that from Top Gear. To, to give something the berries is to like put the hammer down on it. You should write a paper on the berries. Berry giving. Okay. Yeah. He's not vulnerable to anything. Lame. Vulnerable to getting busted in the head with a frying pan, I guess. <sighs> where, where are we going? Back to the meteor. Oh, finally. Yeah. Picking, picking the story thread back up. Weird. <laughs> After almost 50 hours <laughs> picking the story thread. No, it has, it's been about 30 hours. So, something like that, yeah. Uh, hit him with the Zuka. Yeah. Uh, take it. I don't know why I keep making that uh sound. It sounds gross. Uh, so I finally uh, S ranked FTL oh, yeah? this week. Yeah, what was the last achievement? All these, the last achievement I got was getting the rock ship to the secret sector. Nice. No! No? That wasn't the last one I got. Oh. Because I, I, I got... I, I, I was lacking two achievements, and I got them both on the same day. Uh, I was lacking that one, and... Gosh, what was the other one that... Oh, uh... In use uh, your crew in four special blue events by Sector 4. That's the... By Sector 5. Th that one is specific to the Osprey, right? Yeah. And the uh, the rock one was, of course, specific to the rock oh, ship. Yeah. But, uh... So now I have to go back through and, and hit them all on medium. Wait, all the... All the achievements again? Yeah. You, you get, uh, you... you it updates them and says, because uh, it tells you whether you got it on easy or medium. Oh, that is so and, lame. Uh, they pop up again when you get them on, on medium. So you haven't S ranked it. But I, I've gotten all the achievements. S all the Steam achievements? There are no Steam Steam achievements. Oh, they're all bitch achievements. I see how it is. Yeah. That's the lamest thing. I like, go figure, I S ranked one game. That's the only game I've ever S ranked. And it doesn't even have Steam achievements. It, doesn't, does that, Giant Bomb that, even do that stuff? Does Giant Bomb even do achievement tracking anymore? No, they gave that up. Lamer still. Yeah. And, and actually, that's not true. I also S ranked. Um, some, some, like, bitch game that only had about six achievements, you know? And they were all, oh, it was a, Q, a cube. Q-U-B-E. Oh, yeah, I heard that was pretty good. You, you liked that game a lot, all, didn't you? Oh, yeah. A lot of, like, any, any, like, puzzle, first person, you have a strange gun puzzle game. <laughs> you give me a gun that shoots weird shit, and I'm all about it. Cornel, anti-chamber, cube, they're all great. What's the new one that just came out? Portal 2. Uh, Mirror Moon. Oh, yeah, I saw the quick look of that. That, that game looked really insane. Yeah, it's pretty badass. I haven't, I haven't downloaded it yet. Oh! But uh, I did download Space Engineers. Oh, man, that game looks so, like fun. Uh, well, as soon as they add multiplayer to that, we need to get on that. We need to jump in. Uh, if that game is what I expect it to be, uh, it'll be the greatest thing ever, which is Minecraft with, uh, uh, where, except you, Are in you space. know, build, build ships and you can put guns on those ships and battle each other. I'm not going to put guns on my ships, I'm going to put a million engines on my ship and ram my ship into yours and then board your ship and then shoot you in the face. That, that's sort of just a more roundabout way of putting guns on your Grand ship. Grand Theft Spaceship is the game that I play. There, uh, there is no law in space. I am the law. 
Also, there was something shiny on that thing, and we touched it. Ugh. That's usually my, uh, you know, standard operating procedure. Reaching out and touching the things that you can reach? Yep. Reach out and touch someone. Huh. So now we have a piece of the meteorite. Great. It's still glowing. Even after all this time, that meteorite is... How long do meteorites generally stay hot? Do they stay hot for 30 hours? Uh... I assume they, they stay hot at the, uh, more or less the same rate that lava would. So... I guess? I don't really well, know. Well, uh, you know, it of course depends on the size of... I mean, there are meteorites that are miles in diameter, so... Not... I mean... If such a meteorite had hit the Earth, everything on Earth would be dead. That's not true. The meteorite that, uh... uh caused the Permian... Uh, ex extinction... Uh, you mean that thing that killed virtually everything on Earth? Yeah, that one. Oh. You said... But you said everything. It's, it's virtually everything. Fair enough. Life rebounded. Life finds a way. As we learned from that one movie. Man of the Year? Yes. <laughs> the movie in which Robin Williams became a female dinosaur with no men and then laid an egg that was viable. And we in which they implanted frog DNA into Robin Williams. <laughs> allowed him to... <laughs> and then he just gonna, he jumps in and bites that guy in the neck, and the guy's like, Clever girl. <laughs> I never saw what was so clever about that. It's like, what? You brought a shotgun to a dinosaur fight, bro. It's not so much that that dinosaur is smart, it's that you're dumb. <laughs> uh, also, uh, those were like the craziest velociraptors ever. <laughs> Vel velociraptors were the size of like a golden retriever. Were they really? In, in, yeah. There were big raptors though. Like, there was the the Utah raptor is friggin' enormous. Uh, but there were it was like sure. Deinonychus. I don't know how to pronounce it, but Deinonychus. Yeah, it's the one with the claw on the foot. Yeah. But they were... Big old claw. Pretty big, I think. I don't know. Never saw one, so I don't know. Yeah. I can't speak to Deinonychus. No one can, as, as it turns out. Well, I'm, you know, sure, uh... Dougal Dixon will have a few things to say about Deinonychus. What? I like that name. Who the hell is Dougal Dixon? Dougal Dixon. He's a uh, popular science uh, dude who is, uh, you know, paleontologist kind of. Uh, Speaking of jokes that have completely lost momentum, let's talk about something else. I hate no, now I'm gonna this look, background. Now I'm, gonna, creepy. I'm gonna read you the Wikipedia article on Google Hicks. Oh dear. Google Nixon. Studied geology and paleontology at the University of St. Andrews and is best known for his illustrated works of speculative fiction, which largely concerns zoologies of the future. His own visions of how human beings and animals might evolve in millions of years' time. He is the younger brother of Douglas Dixon. Oh, crap. What? Wouldn't you hate to be in that family? So we couldn't think of two good names, so you each got part of it. Uh, Douglas is no... Your, your dad is named Douglas, and My dad's name is Don. Oh, that's right, Don. Douglas. Doug is named Douglas, though, so Doug is not the right name. Dig Doug. <laughs> it's okay. No, that's totally different. Dig Doug was about a dude who dug a hole in the ground. Dig Douglas is about beatniks. 
Oh, and they, they dig Jaguar Sash yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, uh, there's uh, a button on that arcade machine labeled a snap. And it makes you snap your fingers. That'd be a fun game, just a snap game. Where you hit a button and every time you hit it, it snaps. Sure. It could be like cookie counter, except snap counter. I had to add lines to the host's file on my computer to block that dude's website because it was giving me trouble. Cookie counter? Cookie clicker got into my brain in a bad way. And Wait, it messed me up real bad. Like, like it, 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 it gave you, it gave you like the other kind of cookies. What? You said it, it got into your your computer, like it gave you a a virus of some kind. No, I just mean like I was playing it way too much. Oh, I I I don't get it. Hang on. I really don't get it. Why why that's such a thing? Hang on a second. I need to uh, alt tab real quick. I'll be right back. Party people. The viewers will notice nothing. Uh, so should we not talk? Uh, it doesn't. During this, it's already been done. It's too late to think. What did you do? I had to restart one of my repeaters because it was uh, it was tripping. What nobody realizes is that you're actually gone for hours, and yeah, that it's the it's, it's basically like that the next day. Of contact. <laughs> and up until now, we've just been joking about thinking that you weren't gone that long. Sure. What were we talking about? Dougal. I don't know, that was yesterday, man. D it's a new day. D Dougal Dixon. Uh, name oh yeah, Dougal, Dougal Dixon. Dick Douglas. Snapping. Sna snapping the fingers. Beatniks. Beat, beat a beatnik with a hammer. Don't do that, you'll go to jail. <laughs> You can just beat a Nick. Find a dude named Nick. That's... Go beat a Nick sounds dangerously <laughs> close to something just terrible. So... I've got to recommend that you, uh... Reel it in. Racist. I... I... Let's... Let's just go ahead and, uh... And follow this to its logical conclusion. Don't beat up we, black people. We, we need to name today's uh, episode Go Beat a Nick. <laughs> Fine. If that's what you want. Racist peanut butter cup. <laughs> you got your peanut butter on my burning cross. You got your chocolate all over my imperialism. <laughs> Do we make that joke too much? That imperialism joke? Is that worn out now? I don't- I mean, our whole- this whole- sh this whole show, the- our whole company is- is based <laughs> on that joke. Yeah. <laughs> Tall, cold glass of imperialism. I like Tall, Cold Glass, though. That's a good- that's a good, uh, a good name. Yeah. We- I gotta figure out where the hell to go, company though. Will... One of these days, we're, we're gonna actually incorporate. And <laughs> we're gonna be pretty awesome. We need to find the hint guy. Buy a hint. Talk about product service systems. You get the game, and then you get hints. Yeah. They use to buy the game so they can sell you hints. They only they make the game so hard so you'll be forced to call the Nintendo tip line for five cents a minute, bastards. Have we discussed the calling of the Nintendo tip line before? I feel like we. I've have. never done it. I, I, oh, you know what? I did. I did call, uh, uh, customer support for my, uh, when I had a Super Nintendo, and uh. I, I, I mean, I was, like, eight years old, but, yeah. you know, I, I called up, uh, the 
It might have been the tip line, or was it's whatever was on the in the instruction manual. Yeah, it's like, are you um, stuck? Give us a call. Yeah, uh, but the thing was, uh, I, I I had played through my game, uh, and, you know, I was in the process of it, and I paused, and I didn't want to turn the system off, uh, and so I called to ask them if it was gonna, uh, if I should be worried about it burning into the screen on my TV, and, um, he told me that, dude, you can just pause the game and leave the system on and turn the TV off, and I was like, dude, awesome. Dude, that dude was bringing you some, some next level hot tips. Yeah. Red hot technical information coming at you live from the Nintendo tip line. And after I learned that, that was it. All bets were I got, off. I was, I was great at games from then on. I don't know what to do. The tip guy isn't here. <laughs> Maybe he's in Foreside. I know where he is in Foreside. He's just standing in a field. Do the tips update? Like, uh, do all tip guys know all tips? And we'll distribute them based on your progress rather than your location? About to find out, yo. Okay. Wait. We need to make the study rigorous. No. Let's, uh... We need to define our variables. Oh no! State a hypothesis! Ugh! He said he had nothing else to... He had no more hints for us. Okay, you got the... You got a meteorite piece. That was the last... Great event, right? Yeah, I... I feel like... Meteorite piece. It looks what, like what can we rock. do with a meteorite piece? Or for someone who knows about it, it is actually a very precious, unusual element. There was a dude, a bearded dude in a house that was into meteorites. It was, um... It was at the very beginning of the game, right after you saw the meteorite the first time. Yeah, I know. It's, it's the it, guy, but his house was right there and we couldn't get in. It was locked, just like everything else. Well, you gotta find that guy. Just talk to this dude. Dude's all effed up on cappuccinos. I bet that guy's gonna be somewhere else. <sighs> Wait, they told us there were other places we had to go back to. I think the Saturn Valley was one of them. Let's go to let's go see the Saturns. I think that's, I think that's where, what we left before to go get the. We already, we already went back there. Shut up. Yeah, what's Do up? Do not want to talk to these assholes anymore. Aha! There he goes. Uh, sounds good, let's go. Does it ever bug you when sci-fi things talk about new elements? It's like, uh, you can talk all you want about new substances, but you can't have new elements. Why? Because we know all the elements. No, we don't. They're, they're making new ones in the lab all the time. Not all the time. Then they all they all have shelf lives of like, you know, fractions of a second. Right, but the point of that stuff they're doing is that they're trying to find like another island of stability. That's just really really hard to get to because it takes a lot of energy to get to. They haven't been able to do it yet, but that's what they're working on. Do you think even, such a thing even exists? I I have no way of knowing. Well, I'm okay, but. I mean, if such a thing did exist, don't you think it would be present in the universe? Uh, I don't know. I suppose we, I suppose our experience only extends to an infinitesimal, uh, you know, portion of the universe. So, I like um, uh, Mass Effect it invents a new quote-unquote element called Element Zero. That they used for that used to explain all of the sci-fi bullshit in Mass Effect. 
But on it, obtainium? It's it's called element zero, and it just um it, it only happens in neutron stars. So it's like this kind of weird degenerate matter with weird uh, properties. Yes. I think unobtainium is the dumbest joke. Yep. I mean, well, whatever. I don't like it. I don't ever want to hear that word again. That was cool. Bye. It's cool that it didn't just take off. It <laughs> did like a, uh, you know, dithering kind of thing. Listen to this music. Oh! Uh, hey man. Uh, are you gonna snap my photo too? <laughs> I'll give you the last power. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Just> like... <laughs> You're later. <laughs> like, hey guys, this place is pretty fucked up, right? Peace! <laughs> I assume... Listen to this, like, intermittent music in the background. Hey, what's up? Kidnapped, I was. Boing. Kidnapper. Bad guy. Oh, the bad guy went to the past. What? Do any of you guys, you know, talk normal? <laughs> English, motherfucker! Uh-oh. Get your squiggly line eraser. Uh... Uh... Hey! I'm sorry, what? He's attacking for many years in the past. many years in the past. Uh, I could tell you because I've read the Wikipedia article about this game, but I won't. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess it's millions of years in the past. I don't think that you're correct. I'm gonna guess that it's one year in the past. Wh what? You must warp to the past. Oh. Modus Prunus. <laughs> However, the machine cannot warp living things. I mean life forms. <laughs> life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish the time travel is to transfer your brain program into a robot. Oh. My spirit will go with a robot, but your body is left behind. Interesting. What? Well can, can your body still operate? The, so we're sending our spirit into the past in the robot, and then I assume when we come back, we'll be able to put our spirit back in the robot. In the body, rather. Yes. Uh, okay. So what is a spirit? What is a body without a spirit? Uh, a zombie. That's... Lars, please give me that red cap. A zombie is a body without, uh, that doesn't, um, replenish itself. This is terrifying. You're, it's just one of those, uh, hotel beds that vibrates. <laughs> I mean, you've seen that before. So is this it? Are we on the home stretch? I think so. How long have we been doing this, by the way? Uh, a little over 30 minutes. We'll probably call it once we get to where we're going. Thir Thirty-seven minutes, and we'll save guy the the final boss battle for next time. Think it'll be long? Probably. We'll probably f it up a couple of times. There is no turn. Whatever happened to now? Apple Kid? Where's Orange Kid? They stopped mattering as soon as they finished their role in the story, which what was poking. Uh, he dated. We killed his dumb ass in an alley. <laughs> uh, Whatever happened to what what was not a bee? 
Uh, he, he dead. He dead. <laughs> That's right, if you say he dead. <laughs> I'll say you he dead. <laughs> oh, I really want to find that clip from that multiverse episode and show it. I mean, that, that cracked me up. It, the thing is, that, that show is only funny when it does things that are kind of, um... Su subtle's not the right word, but, uh, sort of offbeat humor, mm -hmm. you know? Where it's something you're really not expecting. Yeah. I mean, and, and the thing is, you're expecting some weird, weird, uh, off-the-wall thing. But when you don't even class the joke in <laughs> weird <laughs> off. Listen to the noise you make when we walk. I know, that's great. Okay. This game is awesome. This is great. This, this whole game was building up to this. This should have been an hour five. <laughs> I like how you, everybody else is indistinguishable, but you still have your hat. <laughs> It's I wonder if you have all new attacks. No. Don't be an idiot. It'd be great if instead of Psy attacks, you had, like, Wi-Fi attacks. <laughs> disc, it's HDD attack. Shoot a disc at him. Whoops. Oh, where's my... Where's my... Biz oh, there it is. What is that thing called? Was it the Wally Bazooka? Well, the Wild and Wooly Shambler. <laughs> freeze him. Freeze him good. Uh. Excuse me. <laughs> what? The Wild and Wooly Shambler. Yeah. Outstanding. Well, when that, that's an ultimate Octobot, when I first glanced at it, I thought it said Omaha Ultrabot. <laughs> it's a robot version of that dude who, the, who runs uh, Berkshire Hathaway. They call him the Oracle from Omaha. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Freeze him up. Oh god. They seem pretty easy. Yeah, I hate enemies that explode though. Well when you have four I guess what was so hard about the that last round was that you're missing two of your characters. Yeah, we had a couple of dudes down. Oh, and here's a couple more enemies for you to fight. Yeah. So you can walk along this path and then fight enemies. Yeah, weird, right? Or no, wait, the opposite of that. The same thing. I should have the snake bag at these guys. Drop a snake on them. Oh, snap! Drop a snake on it! Show them the snake. Whoa. Come on, man. Come on. So how was Halloween? Uh... Up in North Carolina. I came home from work and I went to bed, then I woke up the next day and went to work. Anybody knock on your door? No. I got home from work at like 10 o'clock that night. Oh. Uh, 
Also, normally we, we get a little notice from our apartment company that says, like, hey, put this thing on your door if you want to see trick-or-treaters. But they never showed up. So I don't know, I don't know, maybe they just didn't do trick-or-treating. Maybe that, that Flanders lady got to everybody and convinced them that Halloween's the devil. Do you have any trick-or-treaters, or did you uh, avoid it? Uh, I mean, we turned our porch light off. We had a couple of knocks at the door, but I'm not going to give candy to the, the poor kids whose parents drive them in. You know, like, they don't even, they're not even wearing costumes. It's, it's like, I'm just, I, I'm not going to take part in it. You're not going to put in the effort. Know? Don't come around here, man. It's not a, it's not really a charity thing. You know, it's not like I'm, if I were, if I wanted to give charity to underprivileged children, I would give them something like wheat books. I don't know. You know. Here's a here's a small chicken. It will produce you good eggs. Damn it! Hurry! Is Naomi gonna eat it? No. Oh. We're good. Got it in under the radar. Okay. Everybody just calm down. We're okay. Hey, Open that box. Hey. Ooh. A legendary bat. I think we have officially maxed out our batness. Do you have a 3DS? No. Oh. I used to have a DS, but no more. What happened to it? Uh, I gave it away. To whom? Oh, one of my friends from college or something. I just, I never play with it anymore, and they had some game they wanted to play real bad, and I was like, oh. I'm not. It was a gift for my brother, anyway, because for the same reason, he's like, I've got this thing, but I never use it. Here, you try it. Maybe it'll do you some good. I was just wondering if you had any, uh, if you had any interest in the new Pokemon game. Uh, I've never been into, uh, the Pokemon games, really. And I, 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 it seems right up your alley. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm I'm going crazy. You are crazy. You know what? I I, I have a really distorted opinion of, of what I think you're gonna like because I think you say you like certain kinds of things, but it's not really true. That seems. And you really like you really like the opposite kinds of things. You know? What do you mean? Like, you you say you like things like... You seem interested in games like, uh, uh, Warhammer 40k, or, uh, you know, tabletop kinds of, like, math games, I guess. Uh, but then all you ever want to play is things like Battlefield. Well... Oh, it's just a total uh, Yeah, that seems about right. I'm not into games that require thinking or work. Oh, God. What the hell is that? We fought a boss that looked like that. Yeah. Oh, God, we're, we're, we're battling the poorly drawn snake again. Damn it. He has something like a, uh, like a tuft of hair coming out of his mouth or something. Yeah. What is that? Is that his tongue? I think he might be breathing fire. <laughs> he was also made out of tissue paper and spit. <laughs> hey, hey! I like this being a robot thing. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Oh god, it's this guy again. That's what they all say at first. Yeah. Being a robot's pretty glamorous until 300 years after everyone you've ever known or loved has died. And there you are. Straight chilling. Yeah! You just have to wait out eternity or until your battery runs down. Which will, of course, be 
in tens of thousands of years because you're built with advanced technology. I'm built with longevity in mind. Robin's robots really built to last. Did you ever see that movie AI? Yes. That's an okay movie. Yeah. A lot of people didn't like it, but I like it. It's depressing. Gross. I didn't like all the parts about, uh, like when he, they were like persecuting him. Uh, like he's put in that circus or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I didn't like any of those parts, but I like all the parts where, uh, you know, he's in, uh, the, the, like, super advanced robots come down in their disintegrating cube. Do so, so you like the very beginning and the very end of that movie and none of the parts in the middle? Pretty much. Alright, sounds good. But the, I mean, when you say the quote, very end, end quote of that movie, we're talking about, like, an hour and a half of content. Yeah. <laughs> that movie goes slow. on. That movie goes. Let me tell you. Yeah. It goes like 2001 goes. Yeah. You know? Where you're done with the movie, and then it just oh, shows you, like, shit. bright bright colors and stuff for another 45 minutes. Crap. Oh, uh, no! Please. No, not possible. Hold down L and R at the same time. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Ugh. Damn it! Let me have a turn! Fuck me. Hey, check it out, it's the F4 key. Is this the end of... Oh. Way, way back here? Yep. Okay. Uh, that was episode 43. <laughs> uh, come back next time when Baxter will have again in his off hours <laughs> traversed the space between here and where we were. We're already robots, right? though. So... Yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> no. You, yeah. I'm not going to sit through all that again. <laughs> Episode 43. Catch it. Yeah. What are you what are you thinking one more episode? I think it's going to be a 44 episode series. 44 or 45. I don't I don't know how long that weird black and white world goes on. We should do, we should end on uh 45 so uh we ha we end on an episode that's divisible by 3. Okay. Sounds good. I'll do well, virtually anything to satisfy your insane numerology. Well, what would that be? Three times... Fifteen. Uh, uh, Fifteen? Oh, never, never mind. It's not... Not two prime numbers, so... Whatever. Yes. Later, y'all. Yeah. I'm sad now. We need to find a multiple of two prime numbers before we can end the show. 49. Oh, okay, that's pretty close. <laughs> so you think we can stretch it out for four extra episodes after 45? Yeah, I just won't do any work between the, uh, you know end of this episode and the beginning of the next one. We can repeat that section as many times as necessary. No, do, just do what we said. Okay. And, uh, cut this episode up into, like, three episodes. <laughs> so, this will be, this will be 43, 44, and 45. And next time will be 45, 46, 47, and then the last one will be 48 and 49. I'm done now. Stop moving so we can end the episode. <laughs> what can he 
Ellie's eye just sort of sinks down a little bit. <laughs> hey, man. It's a robot. Oh, it's hey, man. I'm moving, but my hat stands still. Are you, like, doing Morse code or something? No, I'm just, we're gonna end the episode on, on Lars jiggling. Have we already ended it? Maybe you have. I don't know. I'm, I'm watching you jiggle. How's it feel to be jiggling? <laughs> Come on, y'all! Commence to jiggling! <laughs> Are you guys seeing this? <laughs> guys, I can't feel my hands. <laughs> the clock is having a stroke. <laughs> I've been trying for, for hours to walk off this cliff and just can't. He's, he's programmed like one of those vacuum cleaner robots. So when it gets to the edge of something, it doesn't go off. But he also has free will, so he wants to go off. It's like it's like that shit in iRobot when the robot started going in circles because it had a conflict between the two laws. Mm, no, it's nothing like that. Oh. <laughs>